You know, it isn't pleasant to think about, but at some point, most of us will have some sort of emergency and need help from medical responders. These folks do an amazing job to help you in your moment of need, but because of the nature of an emergency, they usually don't start with a good picture of your health history or medical conditions, which can drastically affect what actions they should take. Luckily, recent Apple and Android phones give you the ability to carry that information right in your pocket, ensuring that it is always available, even if you aren't able to communicate. Here's how to set up your phone in case of emergency. The first thing you should do when setting up emergency information is to create your list of contacts that should be alerted when something occurs or that responders can reach out to for more information. This is very important as it ensures that the right people are notified without any guesswork involved. If you haven't already, then let's start by writing down the names and numbers of your most important contacts. These are the people that you trust the most to provide information and possibly make decisions on your behalf. I would limit this to no more than four or five and put them in the order of importance to call, with one being the most important. It also makes sense to ask one of those contacts on your list to be your beacon. Someone who can take that initial call and then alert others in your personal network as needed. Once you have that list completed, then put it aside and we'll include it in your emergency information later. All iPhones now come with a built-in health app that can allow you to track a variety of health-related activities, from your exercise level to your food intake. But for our purposes, we will be focusing only on the Medical ID tab. If you've never opened the health app before, then it may ask for a few basic details up front, such as your name and address. Then, it should ask you if you want to create your medical ID. Otherwise, select the Medical ID tab and press the Create Medical ID button. Or, if you already had one created, you may see an Edit button in the top right corner. Once open, the first option allows your emergency information to be accessed right from your lock screen. This is how first responders can get quick access to that vital information and possibly save your life. To enable it, just make sure that the switch is set to green. Underneath, you will want to fill in each of the fields with your corresponding information. The more you can fill out, the more complete a picture you will be providing. Make sure to add the contacts from your list into the Emergency Contacts section by pressing Add, locating them from your address book, and then selecting your relationship to that person. Once completed, just press Done to save. On recent Android devices, it's incredibly easy to add this information as well. First, you want to lock your phone. You can usually do this by quickly pressing your power button, and the display should go dark. Then, you'll need to view the lock screen, but not unlock the phone. Do this by pressing the power button again, and then you may need to swipe up if you have Touch ID enabled. From the lock screen, press the emergency button at the bottom. But don't worry, this won't set off any alarms or call the National Guard or anything. You should see an emergency information button appear at the top of the screen. You will need to press it twice to open it. Once it's open, press the pencil in the top right corner. This will ask you to log in as it only wants the owner to change this information. So unlock the device using your passcode or touch ID, and then press add information to enter in your medical data, such as your allergies or medications. Press the back arrow to return. Now make sure to enter the emergency contacts from your list. Then press the back arrow to verify the information. On older Android devices, unfortunately, this feature is not available. But there are several free apps you can download in the Play Store that provide a similar service. Now, there is a privacy concern to point out. While Apple and Google do not share this personal data, just by enabling it, anyone with physical access to your phone could see this information, not just first responders. So be cautious of who has access to your phone and do not enter any financial or social security information. Now, you can feel assured that not only are you helping yourself, 
but also making the jobs of emergency workers just a little bit easier.